I ordered a couple of types of pegboards and sent them to some stroke survivor friends to test. One was local to me, so I tried them myself. I like this one best. I put down a towel to keep things from sliding around. After trying it and talking with the stroke survivors who tested them, my conclusion was to start, put away 80 or 90 of the pegs so you don't get overwhelmed. I'll pick out five of each color. Don't try to put them in the holes right off the bat. You likely won't succeed. Start by trying to pick them up, thumb to index finger. Then, if you can, pick them up in the proper orientation to put them in the holes. Next, try putting them in the palm of your hand and reorienting the peg into the proper position. Now you are ready to try and put the pegs in the holes. One reason I like this set is you can stack the pegs, and the pegs have round holes on top. So you can drop a peg into an existing one easily without pushing. You can do this before you try to put them in the white board holes. The board holes are square and tight and require some pushing effort. Of course, you have to have a first layer, but you can do that with your unaffected hand if need be. You get it, I'm sure. If you tackle too big a task for your capabilities, you risk frustration and failure. I found success builds on success, so I set small achievable goals often, which is why I broke this task down.